In today's video, we'll discuss those seven tools which are the primary tools of Adobe Illustrator and widely used on construction work. Let's get started with Scissor tool. As everyone knows, the function of a scissor, it cuts any things into two pieces. So, for an example, let me take an ellipse tool and here I'll do an ellipse. Now, by the use of scissor tool, what I'll do, I'll cut this ellipse into two pieces. And now I cut here and here. Now the ellipse is broken into two pieces. You can see. Now if you want to cut it into one more pieces, then again take this scissor tool and cut it anywhere, wherever you want. And you can separate it like this. And you can change the color. You can see. So this way you can use the scissor tool. So now we'll discuss about pen tool. What is the use of pen tool? So I'll select this pen tool and here I can draw a curve like this and like this. By using pen tool, you can draw a straight line. So in order to draw a straight line, what you need to do, you need to press and hold shift key and you can draw a straight line either in horizontally or vertically. So if you don't use any shift key, then you can uh, use the pen tool and make any shapes with your freehand movement. Like this, you can do anything with the pen tool and you can fill this with color. Now let me show the uses of direct selection tool. So once you draw the curve with the pen tool, here is a direct selection tool. So once you click on direct selection tool and click on the anchor point, you can see uh, this handle options is showing here. So you can manipulate the curve like this. If you click on this anchor point, you can see this way also you can manipulate the shape. Now I'll show the uses of this add anchor point tool and delete anchor point tool. So I'll uh, use this rectangular tool and here I, I have drawn a rectangle. You can change the outline color for this to black. Now I'll use uh, this add anchor point tool and delete anchor point tool here. So from the toolbar under this pen tool, you'll find this add anchor point. So now I'll uh, add one anchor point here. And now this direct selection tool you can use again and select this new anchor point tool. After selection of this, you can use your arrow key on your keyboard and you can move it like this. And you can make different shape. And this anchor point tool is also works uh, similar, somewhat similar like uh, direct selection tool. So you can select this and you can do like that. You can do like that by using anchor point tool. If you use shift key, you can move this uh, corner like this by using anchor point tool. So I want to delete the anchor point of this corner. So what I'll do from here, I'll select this delete anchor point tool and I'll click on this anchor point and you can see this anchor point is deleted and you can see the shape uh, like this. If, if you delete this one, then it will become a straight line again. There is no more anchor point tool, only there are two anchor point tool are available here. So if I delete this, only one anchor point tool will be remaining. And if you delete this, there will be no more shapes and anchor point uh, will be available. So when uh, the proper use of uh, this delete anchor point tool will be, so sometimes what happens when you'll make a shape, you will find something in the middle, uh, like uh, a small two or three points are there and making gap in between the shape. So at that times you can use this delete anchor point tool and you can remove those anchor point tool from the middle and you can do the shape like that. So this is the easiest way to do. You can remove it like that. Hope you like this tutorial. You can subscribe our channel and hit like button.
थैंक यू